Welcome back everyone, this is Alea and I'm Sapphire. We are playing Morrowind and this is episode 3 of our adventure so far. So last time we completed a quest for Edwina here on the stairs, uh, checking in on an excavation in Nchleftington. Found a field report on some Dwemer research and we also brought Jira the staff of Magnus and showed that off to her. She was pretty impressed. She gave us another quest to go and find the Warlock's Ring, which we might do today. Um, but yeah, I think Alea has gotten a bit interested in the Dwemer after doing this last quest for Edwina. I think that we'll end up doing some more because Alea being very knowledge focused. I uh, reckon she has a lot that she could learn from Edwina. Edwina seems semi obsessed with the Dwemer, which I don't blame her, they're pretty interesting. If you want to super nerd out about them, the little drip drops of lore that they sprinkle around, a uh, bit of a bit of a journey to investigate it all. I like how uh, Morrowind sort of did that. Gives you mystery in the world still. Can't do everything and solve everything. They'll never really know. I mean, you can get a pretty good idea, but anyway. I also thought that maybe I would check in on the Stronghold's progress. This this um this time and I believe we also have a pretty full inventory that needs dealing with so I think that that's going to be one of the first things that we do. I also need to level up, I think. So yeah, might start with a sleep um back at home is oh it's not too bad, but there probably are a few. Few things we could get rid of. We don't need to be carrying that. Um, yeah, visit home never hurts, does it? Eleven a.m. All right. Oh, whoops, wrong way. Come on, Alea, we've been here before. been a little while since I've played a good uh, month or so. Welcome friend, the day is yours. What should we talk about? But that's all right. It's okay to have a bit of a gap. I did sort of think that I was maybe going to try to have a little bit of a schedule with this, but that's no fun. I just want to play when I, I want to play. You and I are about to be we are blessed, truly. And sometimes I go through big phases of not wanting to play, and then I'll pick it up again for a whoop, good period. So, yeah, we'll just do it like that. <laughs> Bit laggy as a first step in. Here with all of my crap around. Got this boomer cylinder on the floor. We don't need it. Um, got a lot of scrolls and potions and stuff. We probably don't need as many potions as we've got. So I did have a look and I was able to get a previous save um, that did have the containers in my house build again um but i'm not going to go through i'd have to add in everything that i lost via the console and i honestly can't be can't be bothered at all to do that i don't have any ingredients on me to put in the chest no no i don't so you know what we can have a little bit of a fresh start we pretty much just had a hoard of fine clothing and a few 
bits and pieces. I don't think there was anything particularly important, but I did screenshot it all in case I want to go double check at any point. Um, yeah, we might. I think actually we'll hang on to that. Yeah, we'll keep that. That's not bad to have around. That's pretty good actually as well. Um, 15 points. What does the other belt do? What, 15. There, so we don't really need that one. And we've got that one. Why is that 18 seconds versus 10 seconds? Still might just get rid of both of those. One's better. Oh. Oh, but that's area, and that's... We'll decide after we've had a nap. Because we'll go have a nap, and then we'll go sell all of this stuff in the guild, and then we'll figure out where we're going for the afternoon. Level 31! You! The results of hard work and dedication always look like... Lo always look like luck. Two saps. <laughs> but you know you've earned every ounce of your success. Alright, what do we got extras for here? Yes. Oh, we always have to give one to luck. We're doing luck. And everything else is pretty balanced. So, I'm thinking willpower or speed. I almost... It can be off putting sometimes how fast you can move in Morrowind. I might go agility. They're like I lay a little witchy poo. Pretty agile. Pretty agile lassie. Yeah. Looks good. Lovely. Might turn the down just a little yeah that looks that looks a bit better it's a bit overexposed in there with but not the worst thing in the world um okay so we're selling some of our shit actually potions we have so many um do i need all of these bloody hell um Probably not. I might just take a minute to go through them. Skip ahead if you don't want to watch me do this. Stick around if you do. Uh, yeah, no, that's that's pretty good. We'll keep that. Yep. Yep. Uh, feather. Brandy's always good to have. Now, some of my poisons are actually potions. And I'm not going to know which ones they are until until I drink them. Because with the alchemy system here, with the mod that I've got for that, when you activate it, you can brew a potion or a poison. Which is cool, because I always thought that you should be able to brew poisons in Morrowind. Considering how many cool things with different effects there are. Um, but yeah, I think that some of them I have labelled poison when they are actually potions, which means that my character will drink them. The game needs to differentiate when you first brew it. Otherwise, I don't need water spells, surely. Those are heavier. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, see, I think that that is going to affect me. Maybe. It's... Rain magical essence. Yeah, I did just drink that instead of using it on my sword because I think that the right. See, there was another one. 
that actually said poison on it. Death's grass poison. Oh no, I drank that too. What the fuck? I thought though that... Alright. Let's figure this out. Where where are some more poisons? That says poison. Oh, what? I just keep drinking them all. I thought if I had a weapon equipped, maybe I've accidentally made all of these wrong? That seems... Unlikely though. Maybe I perhaps I have to drop it on the on the weapon. Ah. Okay. Were they all like that? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, they were. They were. Okay. Well, cool. I think most of them should work if I use them like that then. Lovely. I'm gonna reload that that save. Lovely, okay. So, what was that poison? I have a... One pretty decent poison. But, yeah. Good to refresh myself with this anyway. I've got a mage poison. Some more mage poison. Strain, magical luck and willpower. 1446. Yeah. Uh, magicka and health. Or... Put these back. Drain speed and magicka. Drain magicka luck and willpower. Again? Magicka luck and willpower. Which one's better? That one. Alright. Drain speed. Uh, yep, cool. Frost shield. And I've already got absorb. Frost three. Yeah. I can probably put the frost shield here. And the fire shield. Keep the potion of light. I'll keep that. T cure. That's pretty cool. I'll keep that. Feather. Three. Now, what's that? 43 for 122. That's not as good. Bump that. Feather. There it was. And then we'll keep that. Fortify intelligence. We already had one over there. So, oh. Those are good to have though. What if I luck? What if I magicka? What if I speed? Another fortify speed, three speed, potions four. Ah, uh, yeah, alright. Put that one back. What if I strength? Mage poison. We can put that back. We've got some mage poison things. Magic Barrier. I think I want to sell that, because I don't like that it's got the Drain Agility effect as well. Alright, now that's pretty cool. That's for me. Yeah, it is. Paralyze, paralyze, we'll keep the paralyze and the paralyzed poison because that's just cool. Keep lots of poison. We'll use lots of poison. Um, actually, I can probably get rid of two of them. We don't have any alchemy ingredients anymore, so this is gonna. Oh, these have to last us until we rebuild our stores up again, which I think they will. Um, Where, where were we? We were over here somewhere. What if we, yeah, that, done that. Yeah, what if I magic up? Yeah, keep that. Quality frost and lightning shield. 
Um, uh, I'll get rid of the frost one. Fire shields. Keep the invisibility. Yeah. Keep that. Might sell. Actually, I'll just pop it here for now. Yeah, that cut down the carry weight a bit, and we'll make the whole potion section a bit more navigable. Oh, what does this do again? I keep forgetting. Spell absorption and store health on self. Yeah, that's pretty good. a moment to nice little drink of water um, yeah it is a bit overexposed over here I I think that the last couple of videos I've put out have come up pretty bright so I think that I'm gonna try to lower the, the brightness on this one um, after I've encoded it and stuff because I think the encoding process just like brightens it up massively things that I yeah couldn't see at all on the video afterwards was really quite illuminated which didn't really feel right so might try to do something about that don't know if I've mentioned that already because it's been a little while but yeah all right it's 2 p.m what are we gonna do um we can either get the warlock's ring do some Dwemer stuff or something else. I'm going to turn the music down a little bit. A bit loud for me. Um. Yeah, see, I kind of want to go do this next Mages Guild Dwemer quest because it be cool to move up higher in the Mages Guild and this takes us to a part of the map that I haven't really been to much for. So I am somewhat intrigued to go do that but from a role-playing perspective I think our Leia would be more keen to get her hands on on this. That staff is pretty heavy and if she could get cool item out of a quest that might be pretty boss that weighs less than a giant staff then you know she might be pretty stoked with that and she doesn't quite feel like she's you know ready to pursue her revenge as of yet I think she still wants to gather a bit of power and influence she's a clever old witchy poo so I'd actually change into that one. I like that robe. Yeah. It is pretty cool. Bleh. Actually, what um, what stage is our stronghold at? 
assured me yeah, that the tower was growing well and should be ready to occupy within a week. Lovely. That was, I think, just before I started recording the series. Um, it will almost be a little bit sad to move from my beloved little home here, but we can still keep it as, a, as an outpost for sure. Flatter me with your attention, Outlander. You. Actually, I should check where I'm going first before I just assume that I'm going to go to the Mage's Guild teleport. So I think I've decided that we're going to go get the Warlock's Ring. Um, so, yeah. That's what's happening. Vera told me that the Warlock's Ring is held by Vindamia Drethen, a sorceress in Ashabadan. Which is, yeah, Ashia Baden, Ashia Badan, which is on an island east of the ruins of Balfell. Where is Balfell? I think it's south. Balfell. There. So I'd either want to go to Elbranora, or maybe even to Vivek go across this way. But did it say it was way east or this one? East. The ruins. So somewhere here. So Tobranora will be a better option. Greetings and salutations. I think the way to go go through Sadrith Mora. Get a boat from down there. I do enjoy a good Share your thoughts, friend. I enjoy the company. Oh. A bit of a bubba. I don't know when my last save would have been. Oh no. Oh, we gotta do all this potions nonsense all over again. Okay. We're back. We didn't do very much, we kind of just blabbed, so. Looks like we've put some of the potions down, but, you know, maybe we don't need to worry about it too much. We've maybe done a lot of them, actually. Not, yeah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Can't be bothered. Can't be bothered. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, put on, put on this robe again. Basically, all we did was... Look at refresh. Yeah, I I know I know what we've got in there now. Welcome, friend. We extend you our warm. Hail, friend. A game setup could definitely be a bit more stable. It might look into that, but at the moment it's still playable. So I must say I find you most interesting right now. Please go ahead. Trying to just run with it. Welcome Besides, it does yours. look Watch nice. And I do take some frame rate hits in some areas, but I think it's worth it. All 
Right there. Where's your uniform? Got to stop asking me that. I oh, ignore the floating mushrooms. These wizards. God. Okay. There's something. Share your thoughts, friend. I enjoy the company. Well, this is off to a terrific start getting back into it. There may be problems with Sadra's Mora, so we're going to avoid that. We can get to Telbranora from Vivek, I reckon. Well, so we'll see how, how being here instead goes for us. Please feel free to talk at your oh, leisure. that's not the right way. Thank you. I'm really hoping that well, I don't I get another crash for a little bit. Otherwise, there is a problem that I need to solve yet again. And yeah, I'm a little bit over solving problems with Morrowind. So where are you from? That's okay. I do love the wrestle sometimes. And getting it working nicely is just oh so gorgeous. Lovely. Okay, so I wonder if we can just float down and water walk our way there. I think that sounds like a good idea. Got slow fall. Saw it. Where is it? There it is. Citizen. All right, that's a bit weird. Um, easily fixed. That um, distant rendering, the different texture. I need to rerun MGE with this texture, not this texture loaded. I used to use that texture, but I thought it was causing problems, but it might not have been it anymore. But I think that it just doesn't fit as well with the whole Morrowind aesthetic anyway. Oh. Oh, fuck. I don't even see anything. Oh, how cool. The gondolier's got a lady. Passenger. Excellent. Alright, so we're headed in, yeah, this direction. Old Vivek. So many good scheming, scandalous, mischievous times here as a rogue in my younger days, looting the looting the treasury and such. I would love to check out the the treasury in Old Ebon Heart, which I have heard tell of yet not seen or explored myself. Oh goodness me, this is a gorgeous game. Do sure you want to do that?
Arthur, that's not... Is that bell fell? Yes. Okay, so it's on the other side of that. There we go. It is just a totally different experience wandering around these kinds of areas with the distant land. It does make it a hell of a lot easier than it used to be. Or it just seemed like you're traversing endless cell upon endless cell of repetitive landscape. But with the distant land, you can really see how it all has a unique curve and fold and the landmarks really being more of a thing. I remember thinking that when um come on, you don't wanna you don't wanna fuck with me. When using the construction kit, you could zoom out a whole bunch and be able to see like massive stretches of land and it was so different, such a different perspective before, you know, I had any distant land mods installed. Yeah. Chill. Not even going to let you mess with me. Yeah. All before me. Mm, alchemy ingredients. Excellent. We haven't had another crash, so I am remaining skeptical but hopeful. Not sure if I've been here before or not. It looks like I have on the map. I wonder if I've been inside the ruin itself or not is a different question. Perhaps. Well, getting on and we still haven't found where we're actually going. So I don't think today is going to be the day to explore it. But there are literally endless opportunities and endless ruins in this game. I am not concerned. I'm a little bit of a quick save nut, you may have noticed, especially if I've had an unsteady, unsteady game. As is wise, I think. I dare you to disagree. Be reckless. Live on the edge. Okay, so what are we looking for? Ashi Badan. I wonder what that is. If it's a. Cave. Ashi Badan is a cave on a small island east of the ruins of Balfell. Okay. That does narrow it down. Because with a name like that, I wasn't sure if we were looking for, for a cave or like a Volothi tower or even a Dwema ruin. Could have been almost anything. Oh 
What's that? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, tough one, are ya? Yeah, blighted. Right, um... Where are we going next? That one. Looks promising. Oh, come on. Tiny rat. I thought that was weird. How long does that last? Oh, 10 seconds. I need to make a better version of that. If I'm going to bother to use it. Ah, oh, canalit. Well, this is not what I'm looking for. You can die. All right. Had enough chances. That might have even been a different rat, I'm not sure. Either way, uh, Leia lost her temper. Yeah, I don't think she likes to unnecessarily murder wildlife if she doesn't have to. Being a witch, I think she's somewhat in touch with the rhythms of nature. Even if she is, oh, that could be it. Even if she is spiteful and vengeful and perhaps even a tad evil. So her plan is to eventually join the Legion. Yes. Nice. And uh, hunt down and find the men who abused and beat her. Just for four hours and see how... Actually, we can put our little, our little camp bed down. And our fire. That sounds nice. And go under the cover of the mushrooms because it's raining. Yeah, nice. This is good. Um, might look a little bit weird when we put the bedroll down, but we'll see how we go. Um, yeah. It'll, uh, It'll do, it's dry, and I think that's what matters. And perhaps we'll set up our fire on top of this mushroom. Um, get it a little bit more in the middle, or did that? Oh, okay. Ah, that's, that works too. That's alright. Nice. Oh, goodness me. This is a little awkward on the slope here, but, you know, the things we do for, for cover. Gosh, I need to get a little bit smoother with my mouse control if I'm going to continue making videos. I'll get there. Yeah, we'll try four hours. Nice.
Okay, who are we looking for in here again? Vindamia. Vindamia Dressen. Coming for ya. Actually, I'm gonna turn the... I feel like this cave should be a little bit darker. But again. Yeah, that's... That's a bit better. <laughs> Turn my heater up as well. It is cold here in Australia today. Very grey and windy, miserable outside. Perfect day to get back into doing a video. Oh shit, okay. Not, not fucking around, eh? I thought my game was going to crash then. Jeez. Right, what's going on here? You all get back to the size that you should be, please. Oops. Odd. Always fun readjusting these. For some reason, they like to fling themselves all over the place unnecessarily sometimes. And be rather infuriating. There we go. Okay, what do I need in this situation? A moment. Uh, so let's go Amulet of Admonition and try to paralyze that motherfucker up for a second. Oh, thank god. What the hell? Is that my mouse running out of battery on me or something? Alright, there we go. Now, perfect time for one of our Rust Shield potions. I reckon. Um, we could do with some restore health as well. Um, so let's get a fancy one that does something else. Restorative boost. Yep. Health, magicka, and fatigue. That sounds perfect. And... Whoa! Okay, so the aggressive saving is paying off. I'm um, disabling, I've disabled a realistic lighting mod that may have been causing some problems um, because when I hit that Atronach with a bunch of different spell effects and potion effects on me, the screen just went pink and the game lost it. So I'm thinking that that was it, not being able to handle all the different lighting effects. Um, and yeah, we'll see how we go this time. I'm going to charge forwards, despite the consistent problems. The menus being weird before was my mouse. I have at least confirmed that, because um, I remembered that happening from a little while ago. I think in like my second episode, same thing happened, or my first, not sure. I'm going to prepare for this battle around the corner here. Yeah, summon a ghost. Mage blood, yep that sounds good. And how does... Yeah, nice. Staff of Magnus. This up. Um, actually, did I just use the ring again? I think I did. There we go. Okay. Now... I can barely see through all my shields. But, you know, that's the payoff. Whoops. Oh. 
think I am paralyzed. I am. Um, he reflected paralysis on me or something. There we go. Yeah, screw you, motherfucker. Nice. Quick saving. Yeah, what are you gonna do from down there, motherfucker? Oh, I missed you. Just need to do that one more time. Let's float on down. There's slow fall. There we go. Oh. Yeah, bummer. Help. Well, it hurt to rest here for a moment, I wonder. Yeah, no, I can't. It's neat. Lovely. Um, yeah, I'll take that for sure. Well, this looks awfully suspicious. infested cave of Ashubadan. My god. Key to a worn door within the Daedra infested cave west of Telbranora. Cheap potion of blind. Exquisite ring. Ring of flea bite. That's not worth taking. Bargain feather. No thank you. Take 25 gold though. Um, yeah, not when we've got that. We don't need that. Take that for sure, though. Got enough money to not be worrying about selling little cheap shitty bits like that. Ah, I see. Wonder if I can rest for a moment in here with the skulls. No matter. We charge onwards. What is that called again? Steel Blade of Heaven. It is. Is this the worn door? It is. Love it when you're still levitating and get stuck on everything. Alright, there's another one. Let's do all our crazy mage crap. Oh, do the staff. The spell absorption, nah, well, I'm not sure what did the, I think, did the Atronox just reflect? 
Like, is that just what they do? Alright, I want to catch your soul if I can. Do I have a big enough gem? I hopefully do. Uh, soul trap. Yes, nice. That, sh I think, worked. Oh, bugger. Yes! Watch your soul. What are you going to do about it? Oh, I can't activate the door because he is in the way. Alright, we'll get rid of you. Trapped. Locked. We can deal with this. With our probie woby. <laughs> Oh, lovely. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Ah, now this looks like who we are after. So I wonder if we move far enough away from her and we sleep for a bit. No, still, really? Is there another section of the cavern I haven't explored? There are. Yeah. That might not be who I'm after then. I just have to use potions and take that mage on. It's alright. I reckon, actually, if we just go in testing the Staff of Magnus and the Spell Absorption thing, just use the dagger. We can maybe poison it if she's tough. Where is it? There it is. Do the belt as well. Belt of the armor god. And I still got that going though. Don't. Oh, what? Oh, what? Okay, where's the frost? Uh, I mean, lightning shield. Potion. There it is. Alright, and I totally do want... Magicka, instead of restore though, let's find fortify. There we go. That's not. Is, do I have a fortify health? No. Actually, let's just go straight poison. Just got straight poison, don't I pee? Where is it? Mage poison? No, just poison poison. Poison! Lovely. Oh, in the heat of battle! Finding the right poison! <laughs> Cannot- Oh, seriously? I didn't know that. Okay. Well, I need, I need to deal with my health. That's... Oh. 
Hopefully your clan fear dies with you. Yes. Oh. Bend me a dressing. Da 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 da. Fortify speed and reflect. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Both for 30 seconds. Get a bit faster. And yeah, no, that's not bad. It's very, very valuable. It looks schmancy with that crazy red glow. Adric artifact associated with Cirabane, an Aldmeri god of sorcery. The warlock's ring was used judiciously by the powerful mage to save many from the Thracian plague in the first era, earning the figure a place in the temples of the Aja worshipping Myrrh. Best known for its use in reflecting spells and quickening the wearer, the ring has never remained in one place long enough for its full potential to be discovered. How mysterious! Well, I think Alea is pretty damn impressed with that. Um, yeah, we'll take your robe. Nice. Oh, little box. Must be all the magic in here doing strange things with physics. And... Yeah, see, there's another example. <laughs> Oh, shit, there's another person over there. I'm not scared by your greater bone walker. Necromancer. You don't even have a name. I think I've got a copy of that. I do like the robe, though, so I am going to take that. Yeah, you can keep your crappy staff. I will take the book, actually. It's worth a little bit. Worth more than anything else you have on you. Thank you very much. Well. Oh, excellent. I'll take that. Roll of the Blood Thief. Oh, yeah. Nice. Roll of Flame Guard. Yeah, might sell it. Uh, quality Rising Force, Fortify Intelligence, Ice Shield, Standard Magicka. No. Nah. Oops. Oh dear. Well, I'm going to take all of that. Oh, cool. <laughs> Found a bunch of... Yeah, a whole Daedric armor set. I don't have very good axe skill, so I still wouldn't be super effective in that, but... Ah, that trap was puny. But let me and my probie wavy take care of this next one. You know, just because we value our health and comfort. Not because we can't handle it. Come on. There we go. Yep, cool. More scrolls. Go through our scrolls as well. We've got heaps. This little stash of goods here. Ah, the first book. And Get up potions, thank you. Yeah, worn stuff in the worn chest. Who to thunk it? Cool. I like the cauldron edition here. So I guess that's the 
nice. I'll take that. Ah, oh, beautiful. Molto bene. Oh, do we have a rest in here? I'd rather sleep under my mushroom outside, I think, actually. I believe I have a mod that adds um, a little bit more detail to caves. And I think I can really see that in play in here. Lots of lovely little details with all of the extra alchemy ingredients than what I think you'd usually find and the, you know, the cauldron up here and yeah. Don't know how much of it exactly, but lots of little touches go a long way, I think. I wonder if we've actually... Yeah, that bit's all explored now. This bit isn't, but that's essentially where... Um... Yeah, I had a look down there when I killed the, the that guy, the Dramora. There's a chest at the bottom, then it is remaining unlooted today. It was, um, it was a hot little cave. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I forgot about you. Take that. Oh, get out of my sight. Let's rest. Enemies. Where? Well, fine. Let's teleport out of here then. my recall set to currently? I'm not sure. Let's give it a go. Oh! We're in Nschleftington Th. That's right. Okay. Well, from here, if I cast Elm Civi, I might end up in Vivek. Elm Civi Prevention takes you to the nearest tribunal shrine. Always good in a sticky spot. Where are we? Surin. Lovely. Only a short silt, silt strider trip away. Get out of the way, you lousy drunk. From, uh, well, from Balmora. We haven't really spent a good amount of time in Surin yet. We've kind of just passed through. I'd like to at some point. I like Surin. I think it's a, a cool little town. I think the mod that's done it up has done a wonderful job. Can't remember which one I'm using, but it'll be listed. And the white Surin textures, obviously. Why walk when you can ride? Read. Take me to Balmora, please. Heading home. And of course, I was expecting a crash there, which is exactly why I quick saved before I got on that silt strider. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. All right, let's see how we go this time. I think that just loading the major cities can sometimes a be a bit of a hiccup with all of price. the lovely 
redo mods that I have. But I'd like to find some kind of just stability patch for heavily modded games. Sometimes they can really make a difference. Um, alright, what time is it? Can't tell, of course. Can't check your watch when there's a cliff racer nearby. We'll go home anyway and have a sleep before we go see Ajira. am. Well, I think after that we'll rest for a good nine hours. Wake up. Yeah. Just after midday. That's alright. I think Alaya being a witch doesn't really mind what time of day it is often. She seems like a person who would appreciate the Cover of darkness and all that. Oh, wonderful! Welcome, Outlander. Can you actually advance me anymore? Ah, yeah. Okay, that's right. I had forgotten about that. This is a wondrous encounter. Welcome. Yeah, I think I maybe started that quest. Or looked into starting that quest before I started the Let's Play. I must say, I um, find you most interesting right now. Please go ahead. Oh, it's not you that I want. That's just habit. But yeah, I'm not sure if I if I, I didn't want to do it at the time for some reason. But perhaps we'll look into it again because advancing further in the Mages Guild, I think, definitely tickles Alea's fancy. Like she loves the Telvani and everything. They're brutal and weird and crazy and powerful um but i think that she finds the mages guild a little bit more familiar you know having come from an imperial province or well, i i mean morrowind is technically as well but the influence of the empire is definitely far less noticeable in morrowind than it is in cyrodiil of course it's the capital but um yeah, I think she would find find herself a little bit more like comfortable just figuring out like you know I think the Major's Guild would sort of be like coasting a little bit for Alea. She's like, yeah, cool, I get I get this. The Telvani, I feel like she wants to really watch her step and not give too much away. She's a rising power in their ranks, and if she wants to continue. You know, I think that being forthright with the Telvani is not necessarily in anyone's best interest. But we'll see. She likes Arian. Master Arian is cool. But yeah, we got that. We got that ring. Ajira is a good friend of Alea and tells Alea about the Warlock's ring. You did. And I found it. So you have found it. Remember that Ajira is your good friend who shares all her secrets. I will, Ajira. Do you have any more secrets for me? Ajira has told you her secrets. What can Ajira do for friend Alea? Yeah, that might be... Might be it. Tell me about rumours. Ooh. Etherin Bailu is offering a residence for sale in Balmora. You can find her in the Halalu Council Manor over in Hightown if you want to know more. Ah, I already, I already have a, a house here, but maybe this is a nicer house. Maybe, maybe my house is a bit cluttered and it would be good to, you know, expand a little bit. But thank you. Ajira, you've been incredibly helpful as always. I wonder... I wonder where Alea would find herself heading now. Perhaps somewhere for a drink is what's in order here. 
but perhaps not in Balmora. Maybe we'll go on a little holiday somewhere while we wait for the rest of our... Um, oh, sorry. The rest of the stronghold to finish being completed. Yeah, we've definitely earned a little bit of a trip somewhere. I think we'll head somewhere on the mainland to go for a little bit of a bit of a holiday from our duties and such. Explore a new place. So we've been through a bit of the Telvani Isles, which has been pretty awesome to explore actually. So I think that anywhere still in here that we haven't really been to yet is is a yes. Um, this being the version of Tamriel rebuilt that it is, I don't have any of this stuff that's um, been released in the Embers of Empire new update, which has also redone a bunch of this area. Um, so if you wanted to watch the most up-to-date content on that, I am not the person to be watching. But that being said, the version of Tamriel Rebuilt that I have is still incredibly worth playing. It's super impressive what they've been doing over there. And yeah, there's no reason to... I did try to update. I think I've said that um, in my first video. <laughs> But, yeah, it was impossible with a save partway through. And I really did not want to start again, because I wanted to do a Let's Play with a little bit more of a developed character than a level one straight off the boat. And, yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far, actually. Um, so if you're watching, thank you. It's nice to just have an excuse to talk out loud, honestly, the recording. Um, maybe share a little bit of something that I think is pretty cool with other people who think it's pretty cool. And there are a few. So I am tempted to visit yep, either Telnathada, Akamora, Alt Basara. Or Tel Mothriva, or Lathanus. I think Tel Orin's maybe small. Morog's right next to the ruins of Kemal Z, which I reckon Alea will be more interested in doing after she's learnt a little bit more about the Dwemer. So that could be an expedition at some point. But for now, this looks like quite a big, big city. I wonder if we could. Get there from Hell Nim. I wonder if um, my version even has that completed. I think it does, and it's just like this area that's not. It's got um, a lot of this done, however. But yeah, have yet to explore a lot of it. So I reckon we'll head for Hell Nim because we can go to a lot of. The other places from there unless we want to go to Lathanus which I mean we have been kind of working our way through up here um, but there is the pool of the big city that this looks like it might be same with Alt Basara Necrom I think we'll leave for for later But yeah, we'll go to we'll go to Hell Nim for a start. I reckon. We are blessed, truly blessed. This is an honor. This is a wondrous encounter. Well, I think Alaya enjoys how much. The Mages Guild members seem to enjoy her. I think she feels pretty popular around here. Share your thoughts, friend. I enjoy the company. Everybody greets her so 
nicely. Um, actually, we'll just do a bit of a... Just in case. So... I, see I, I do stand enjoy in a good company. conversation. What can I do for you? Omenia, please take me to... Firewatch. I must say... I find you most interesting My right pleasure, now. True. Oh, thank you, Gareth. Go I'm all yours. Please, go ahead. They're almost too nice. You know? <laughs> I think this is quite... Where's good. your uniform? We want to be, but... Get out of my way, please. I, I mean, it look it did look like you were trying. Oh dear God. Okay, so I've been away. I've deactivated a couple of non-essential mods, <laughs> and I've implemented the EXE optimizer, which I should have already been using. Um, I did a couple of tests and we still had um, a crash when loading exterior Vivek, but, you know, we had like five crashes in an hour and 20 minutes of recording just before, which is too much. So, um, I'm going to give it another whirl and just hopefully it's not as bad as it was because we can tolerate some. We definitely can. I might have to end up removing some of my town overhauls because I think that's the main cause of the problem is that it's just like loading the exterior and it's having a bit of a blip. Because um, there's so many objects and nice textures and things like that. Um, but hopefully we should see some improvement. So we'll see how we go. Fingers crossed. Um, and yeah, we're going on a holiday. Potentially to Akamora, or to Telmathada, or Altbasara. I think I've um, knocked these two out. I want to go a bit further in this direction. Welcome. If you care to talk, care to I talk? would consider it a privilege. Yeah, fire watch. Get to then. I must say, I find you most interesting right now. Please, go ahead. If I can be of any assistance, I'll be happy to help. Yeah, and there's that over-friendly... Over-friendly mages guild. But yeah, I will, I will be ruthlessly... Quick saving still, just in case we we are still getting a similar amount of crashing. Which way? But it does actually feel smoother since putting the EXE optimizer in. I think that um, has done my frame rates a bit of a favor, which is nice. Actually, no, from here it'll it'll be a walk, won't it? Depending on where we're going. What is that? I wonder if I have topic at all. Oh. Sounds like it might be where was it? Actually I've got no idea what that is. Tempted to go have a look at that, or head straight here, or actually, I think we'll go to Telmathreva. It's it's the closest. We might be able to see what this is from there. It's probably a ruin or a Daedric shrine of some kind. I reckon. What time is it? 3 p.m. I think that's enough time to set off. So we want a gate, yeah, around this direction. 
I do really like the, the fresh music that Tamriel rebuilt has added. I wanted, a, I wanted an excuse to come to the mainland um, early on in this playthrough because it is something worth showcasing and I definitely wanted to do it relatively early on in um, in the let's play because it is definitely a worthwhile addition to the game and I think a big part of what I'm playing for these days places I haven't seen before it's in, it's yeah it breathes new life into it and makes it special again Oh, just wanted to make sure we we're wearing our curious Heading out into the wilderness. Always exciting. Oop. Yeah, I think one of the reasons why I really don't want to get rid of the town overhauls for the main cities is because they kind of put uh, Vardenfell on the same sort of detail level as Tamriel Rebuilt does, so it makes, makes the world a little bit more seamless, I think. Coming for me. Can't have too much wick weight. <laughs> Wind Moth, Alt Basara, Necrum, Morog, Firewatch, Ranyan Rune, Elnim. Well, yeah, we want Telmathreva, which that said Telmathada, didn't it? Yeah, which is down here. Well, I'm sure, yeah, there's some more signs up here. This is the right direction anyway, in any case. Thought of Fort Wind. Well. Yeah, perhaps we'll go this way, which will at least take us to Club Law. Then we can head further south from there, or we can just fly over the mountain, which Alea does enjoy a bit of mountaineering. I think it makes it feel powerful to be able to levitate over it. Like, these mountains are no obstacle for me. As long as, you know, she can actually succeed in casting the spell. But if not, that's what the steel blade of heaven is for. Fancy flying knife. We might use. Next for now. Yeah, it looks like we will actually be able to take a path here over over the mountains. I just want to avoid those two Nick sounds because we don't need to be fighting dogs here. Oh, 
home direct. Oh, jeez. Wasn't a bar drop. Call me crazy, but I do think that doing a little bit of stability attempts has helped. At least with the frame rates, as I said before, which is an enjoyable improvement. Like, this is considerable um, countryside around here. Like we can see pretty far. There's a lot of lot of objects and rocks and stuff going on. And we're sitting at 60 frames, which is surprising and nice. All right. So that's yeah, that's Telmathriva. Nice. That looks like the best way down. I reckon if we get down here, then we follow the road that way. Oop. Gonna leave me alone, Gua? Or are you not? We're gonna have a problem. You should live another day. You, however, do not get the same honor. Yeah, I really need to fix that um, distant texture mismatch with the Volothi architecture. So that's... Oh! Snuck up on me. But yeah, that's going to change as we get closer to it. I do kind of like that one, but it does... Yeah, it does just feel a little bit out of sync with the rest of the world. In some spots anyway. Vivek looked pretty impressive. We we're gonna have a crash there but we didn't. Oh, something wants us dead. Oh look there's a lighthouse. Have to explore that at some point. Oh come on. Yeah, there we go. Is it a slaughterfish or something? Can't see. Yeah, see that texture looks much more in line with the landscape. And the rest of the sort of grittiness of Morrowind. I don't want to take that away. I've seen um, a little bit of Let's Play footage from someone using OpenMW and it all just looks a little you may speak. glossed over to me, which I think is a bit sad. Where can you take me? Oh, Basara. Oh, cool. You can just take me straight to the, straight to the, the big city down the river. We could also just walk down the river if we wanted to go there after after here. I think Arleia really enjoys just you know setting off on her own, 
for a little bit exploring new places after spending some time in the in the prisons beneath Cyrodiil beneath the Imperial City in Cyrodiil pardon me I think she really relishes her freedom oh yep nothing here just roots it is impressive I, I am curious actually about you know how how redone a lot of the Talvani areas are in the newest version of Tamriel rebuilt because I think the focus has been on the Imperial settlements like Helnim, Firewatch, and Val Oira is like not even a town at all in the new version. It's like just a, a tiny little lighthouse pretty much. Whereas in this version, it's a it's a proper little settlement with some, you know, underground moon sugar operations and, you know, all the same sorts of uh sneaky business going on. It's not quite the word I was looking for, but you know, it doesn't matter. Well you 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 two look incredibly friendly. Hail Breton, I would like to ask a small favour of you. Oh, would you now? Um, what would that be? Yes, my comrade and I have been tasked with finding a certain individual named Starren, who is wanted for the murder of a temple priest. However, the ruler of this settlement, having such strong opposition against the tribunal temple, has not permitted us to enter. Normally, we would enter the town through force, if we had the strength in numbers, but unfortunately we don't. As you can see, we are in quite a predicament, which is why I ask for your help. Oh, excuse me. If you are willing, find Starin and convince him to leave this town, ultimately bringing him into our hands. I can assure you there will be compensation for your efforts. Are you up for the task? Yeah, sounds good. I'm not really on board with the murder of priests. Excellent. I suggest you look in public buildings such as taverns and shops. Barbarians like Starin are often found in those locations. You must not kill him yourself. Leave that to us. Alright, goodbye. Is right, and all else shall follow. Hmm. Words to live by. Can you actually tell me anything else about Starin? I don't even have him as a as an option here. Well, what what can you tell me about the local area? There isn't much to visit in this area. Just stay in Telmuth Reaver. You can climb Boethia's spine, but that's dangerous. Those few caves around here should be avoided. There is also an Imperial farmer, but that's not interesting. The road north leads to Lathanus and south to Alt Basara. Tell me more about Boethia's spine. It divides the Mulgariad and is commonly regarded as a dangerous place. The number of animals and plants is small there, and the rocky terrain makes every step risky. With a bit of luck, you may find a few paths that will get you to the other side of the mountains, but I doubt one wouldn't prefer to go around them. Or over them, I find. Oh. Yes. Gorgeous. You are breathtaking. Oh. Have anything interesting to tell me? What are, I can't ask you guys about your background or, or anything. Um, local economy. Tell us about trade in the region. The most important place for this economy is the Capid Namisat egg mine. However, there are also some fishermen, fishermer in our town. Local shops, any of interest? Ceres Athian. Sarah Athian is an enchantress, but she sells all kind of magical supplies. Lothan, Lothus Drelaw sells some potions and has a shrine where you can be cured of your problems. Gede of Sethan sells food and rents beds at the Glass Goblet. Thank you very much. And just in time, or dusk. 
I think we might have to find a bed at that glass goblet place that man mentioned. That myrrh. Slave holding. That's not going to make us feel very nice going in there. Maybe that's something we can do something about while we're here. Ferris Athian magic supplies. Yeah, why not? I think we're into magic supplies. Hello. I've heard a lot about you, Outlander. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ceres. Uh, uh, an honor to have my reputation precede me. Ceres Athian enchant. Can you tell me about rumors? And who's Mero Galvix? I haven't seen him. Someone else might have, though. Not sure what that's about. Tell me about Telmathriva. Telmathriva is a Telvani town, notable for its former monastery, which is now the tower of Lord Drolothus Omothran. Omothran. Yeah, Mothriva, Omothran. Makes sense. Um, tell me more about Dr Drolothus Omothran. He's the patron of our town. We see him rarely, but we have heard that he has a difficult personality. It seems that he's a powerful battle mage, but that's about all I know. Some others say that he is a talentless upstart who bought the town. Well, there you go. Perhaps I should meet him and judge for myself. Now, um... Before I trade with you, you know that you look quite fine this evening. I know, Alea, I think so too, but it's good of you to say so. Oh, you are welcome. Oh yeah, this is going well. Oh. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty good. I shall honor our friendship as well. All right. I would like a more powerful creature um um creature spell find C sapphire not that hard there we go on touch yes for like can we go like 30 seconds Let's do, let's do a bit more than that. That's heaps. I mean... 70 seconds? Only 24 gold. Alright, what should we call this? Um... Something like how she's all connected to nature and it's is able to harmony, maybe. Yeah, that's that's a bit nicer. Actually, let's make this on target. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe for... No, just touch. Just touch. Yeah, that... Cool. Um, I don't think there's any more spells that we need for now. We did enchant something with her help. I don't think we get any skill bonus for doing that though, and I am trying to work on enchanting. So I want to keep nice clothing and stuff. She'll pay a bit for that, yeah, nice. And keep that.
5 to 15, 15, 14, 18 seconds. Uh, yeah, we'll go that one. Keep that, keep that. Do you like a book in corpse preparation? Yeah, nice. I want to keep that one. Perhaps you could buy some of our crappy, crappy scrolls as well. We're not going to use that, probably. Or that. Well, that's cool. Six bow. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Protect enchantment. I think I already have a spell that does that, but I should check. Detect key. I think, again, I've got that, and they're pretty easy spells. That's maybe worth having. But am I going to remember to use it? Because I think, again, that's a spell I can cast. Ooh, a book about emeralds. We'll take that. That's not something we've seen before. And yeah, we'll keep looking through more of these, I reckon. Um, ooh, do I want that or not? I think... No. Yes. I'm in a skeletal minion. I'm really in a pinch. Can only, yeah. When I've got five golden saint summon scrolls, I don't need that one. <laughs> That's definitely, yeah. Frost Atronach, Flame Atronach, Mist Slippers. Oh, I don't need that. Water walking does not cost. The probable. Oh, nah, I'll keep that one. What if I strength? Self. Uh, I think I have. Either, no, maybe I'll keep that because that can be good for when I'm carrying too much. Yeah, good cure scrolls. Yeah, I'll keep that. Keep that. I'll keep those. Absorb intelligence. I'm not going to remember to do that. Absorb personality. Use is that <laughs> absorb strength? No. no. Oh, I can only give her so much. Well, why don't we see if there's anything here that I like the look of? Ah, oh, Amulet of Mighty Blows. I could take that and have that instead of any kind of strength fortification scroll. Yeah, I, I will actually take that. Where, where was that? Scroll of Fortify... Huh. Was it? I don't know if it was actually called that though. What if I personality 10 to 30 points? I don't need that. We'll just keep going through them. Oh, actually, there was. It was back here, I'm sure. There we go. Yep. Oh, again though, like this is way too much for her. We need to find something that we like. Field of Light, Chest of Fire. Boots of the Crab Walker. <laughs> Field and weakness to shock. That's a bit funny. Chameleon ring, crap. Why do you have such crappy wares? Already got one of those. Ring of Restore Constitution. Or, a yeah? Oh, only five points, though. Meh. Nah. I think I have 
a lot of restore spells, so I don't need stuff like that. Yeah, you don't have anything that good. I'll take some of my scrolls back until we get back to a reasonable... Yeah, there we go. Actually, I might take back one more that's worth a little bit and see, see how much we could squeeze out of ya. Awesome. Why did... Yeah, as the magic purveyor, a magic... a purveyor of magical wares, you do not have that many magical wares, but I like that I can sell you basically anything magic. That is cool. Simple little, simple home for a simply stocked shop. Although it was a pleasure. God, I'll lay as a bit of a bitch sometimes. Thank you and your simple home and shop for giving me like a thousand gold, a thousand septums. Ooh, what's this? Is this the tower? Yeah. Lower tower. Is it? I wonder what time it is. I'd like to check, but... I think that we'll leave the tower for tomorrow, though, and find... Find somewhere to stay for the evening. The glass goblet. Oh! Lovely. This is lovely. Nicely spread out. I do hate a cramped city. Or three of a prison. Interesting. Glass goblet. Here we are. Wonderful. Well, I, I want to take a wander around the rest of the square here before we turn in for the evening. Somebody's house. Probably some, oh no, storage tower. Perhaps, um, perhaps there could be some interesting booty in there. What have we over this side? Lothustra Law, she was mentioned, wasn't she? No trouble at all, Olea. I'm always happy to help. Oh, thank you. Um, would you mind telling me about your background? I'm Lothus Trelaw, priest and acolyte of the temple. I see. Your name, I believe, I have heard before, perhaps. However, it escapes me. No matter. Who was the person we were looking for? Starin. I wonder if, um, wait, where was. Uh, ask at the inns and stuff, they said, didn't they? But, uh, you're from the temple. Do you know anything about this temple priest being murdered and a man named Starin? No? Not that you wish to share, anyway. All right, never mind. Have a have a wonderful evening. Pardon my intrusion. It's going to be another storage tower. Guard barracks. Poke our head in here. 
maybe. I am never too busy for a good talk. Oh, good on you, mate. What can you tell me about uh, the murdered priest? Wasn't wasn't he? Oh no, this is the 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 town patron. Patron. He's a powerful battle mage. Veralothus Omothran is. His specialties are summoning and alchemy. However, he doesn't like to be disturbed by unimportant people. If you want to see him, he lives in the old monastery with his lovely wife, Talmeni or Omothran. Oh, tell me about Talmeni. She is the wife of Lord Drolothus Omothran. She's a kind enchantress and stays by his side at all times. In his tower. You could try to ask her how to behave around her husband. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, I do want to chat to him. Um, actually, I wanted to ask about, you know, just the town as well. Oh. I haven't heard of some of these places. Teleranian. Teleranian is the seat of Master Mithras. It stands just outside of the Velothi town of Ranian Rune. Ah, what about Teldaris? Teldaris. Makes me think of Dario Naharis from Game of Thrones. Teldaris is the tower of Mistress Eldale and stands in the city of Gar Sadrath. Okay. El Thenim. Highest tower of Port Telvanus and it is the home of Archmaster Archmagister Ril Rilvendral. What about Elverin? Elverin belongs to Master Verin, and it stands in the city of Alt Basara, just south of Lake Boethia. Thanks. What can you tell me about El Mathriva, though, where we are now? It's a fortified town nestled within Boethia's spine. It used to be a fortress controlled by the temple surrounding the old monastery. Ah, that makes sense. With its, yeah, design. It is quite fortified coming up the hill. I guess the old monastery must be at the top. Uh, but they couldn't defend the place, and now we Telvani rule it. Um, check out my Telvani servitor robe. I'm envious, Arlea. It's not easy getting a master's favour like you have. Oh, thank you. It was a gift from Master Arian. Now, oh, enough flaunting. Go ahead. I better be on my way. Oh, that's steep. He spent the day praying to Mara pleading for her to make him whole again and to rid him of the nightmares that separated him from her. But instead of the waves of serenity that usually came to him during prayer, he heard only silence. On the third night, the visions came to him once more, but this time, as the light of the moon shone down upon him, he felt a prickling sensation start to overcome him. He convulsed in pain as he longed Claws burst out from under his fingernails. He felt the indescribable agony of his bones warping and taking on a new shape. His stringy and frail muscles swelled and he felt new strength in his limbs. He looked at his hands and saw that his wrinkled hands had been replaced by the terrible hairy claws of a monster. He drew breath to find that new scents were coming to him from all sides, providing him with a wealth of sensory information. He was shocked to see a long, bushy tail protruding from behind him. He took a step only to find that he, instead of his usual slow and deliberate movements, he was instinctively running across the floor. He ran out of the door, frightened by his new form and newfound strength. He ran silently through the night, unseen and unnoticed. He reached the shelter of the forest's darkness, and there he spent the night, alone with his new form and the strange lust for something indescribable that welled up inside him. The next morning, he awoke to find the body was returned to itself, and he felt the chill of the morning on his bare skin. He checked the wounds on his arm, only to find that the gashes were gone, and his arm was whole once more. 
this was not healing energy of Mara that had done this. Her absence still tore at his soul. Woofed. Sounds like that guy became a werewolf. Sunset. Spectacular. So, I was curious what this is. It is potentially that, which I think is a Dwemer ruin. Sort of see a bit of a spire there, and that looks like Dwemer Towers for sure. And there's another one over there, not marked on the map. I definitely want to go have a look at the lighthouse. Lovely. Perhaps it's time to get an early sleep, and we can go for a good explore around the rest of the city tomorrow. Some random Pacqua don't have um don't have a master nearby. Eat your Pacqua. Oh, oh, I can feed you. That's right. I have a mod that lets you feed the animals. Um, what have I got the most of? That's the least useful that definitely yeah we just fed you one we don't need to feed you another one and i hope you enjoyed that lovely gua yes you're very good yes they have a bit of a goofy smile i think oh, oh that's an interesting shield you've got there mate Starin! <gasps> Where are you from? You! Hello, stranger. My name is Starin. I'm a barbarian traveling around Morrowind, searching for wealth. Well, I heard that there is more wealth to be found out outside the city, Starin. You don't trust me. That's... Did you know that you have a lovely complexion? Your skin is so smooth. Will you tell me about yourself now? Alright, you seem like the trustworthy type. I'm a barbarian by trade. I came to Morrowind with the hope that I would acquire many riches from the ruins here, but shortly after arriving, I had a quarrel with a Dunmar and killed him. It was only after the incident that I discovered that Donma had been a well-known temple priest and that the temple had sanctioned a death warrant against me. Oh, interesting. Luckily, the ruler of this town, Dralothus Amothran, granted me sanctuary. Lately, I've become restless. I am tired of being trapped here. I want to go out and explore the world again. Not too long ago, I heard of a type of scroll that teleports the user to the nearest Imperial Cult Chapel, and I think that would be ideal for my escape. There isn't much time. I saw a couple of Ordinators just outside the town entrance. They've probably been denied entrance, but I know they'll find a way in eventually. Will you help me? I think I have to say yes. Otherwise, he won't trust me. So, because I don't actually want to help him. I think Alea is disgusted in the slaughter of priests. She believes in the sanctity of life, even if she has loose morals herself. Especially the life of healers and priests. Like, it doesn't matter if you didn't know that he was a priest. Clearly have a temple... Temper, Starin.
But maybe if I'm honest, he'll just say, fine. I'll leave. What would our Leia do? I think part of her would just staunchly be like, no, nah, fuck ya, yeah. murderer. But I think part of her is also wondering which side here is going to be the most profitable to help. She does, she has joined the temple, and I think that she is interested in pursuing rank advancement, rank advancement within the temple. So I I don't think helping this man is, is on her radar. I think that she thinks quite poorly of him, actually. So would she want to toy with him like a cat or... See what happens if we just say no. Well, thank you for listening at the very least. I'll still be here should you change your mind, provided I'm still living. Okay, so... I reckon we've got to say that we'll help him. Yeah. Oh, have you decided to help me? Oh, if I still say no, but... What about just scroll? To find a divine intervention scroll? Uh, no, 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 not yet, not yet. Time is short, Alea. You must find the scroll before it is too late. Yeah, I'm not going to help you though, but I, I, I think I need to tell you that I will. Thank you, Alea. I need you to bring me the divine intervention scroll. I couldn't find any in this town, and I obviously can't just walk out the entrance. You must find one for me before the ordinators find a way to kill me. Right. Maybe I should go talk to the Ordinators again. In the Glass Goblet Inn of Telmathreva, I met a red guard named Starin, who told me that he was in hiding from the Tribunal for murdering a Temple Priest. He has asked me to bring, me, bring him a Divine Intervention Scroll, so that he can teleport to the nearest Imperial Cult Chapel. I wonder if I shouldn't have done things that way. I might go talk to them again. It's 8 p.m. though, so. But I want to reload. I want to be able to reload the save before I told him yes if I've done this the wrong way. Sometimes it can be hard to tell. Oh, this is the wrong way. Sometimes it can be hard to tell which is the best option to select in a quest might want to be doing the right thing, but you end up accidentally choosing... Yeah, I mean, sometimes that's just like how, how they sort of want you to, to do it, but I feel like if you don't want to help him, there's got to be... Yeah, there's got to be a way to formulate a plan to sort of give him... I wonder if I talk to the ordinators out here, we can, we can give him a cursed scroll or something, you know? Gosh, this town is quite pretty. Most of the settlements, Please join mainland Morrowind, are a bit impressive to look at, though. Three blessings to you, Outlander. I do hope your task is going well. Staron must pay for his past crimes against the temple. Ah, yes, nice. You have brought back some interesting information. This may be easier than I thought. Here is what I propose. Give Starin an Almsivy Intervention Scroll instead of the Divine Intervention Scroll. He won't realize the difference between the two, and by the time he does, it will be too late. Yes, do this, and I assure you he will be dealt with. I fear we cannot give you a scroll offhand, but I know of several merchants in Necrum and Akamora who produce and restock on them. You will be repaid the price. Excellent. I shall do that. I might even have one on me, but I doubt it. I don't think so. Oh well. When we come across one, we can use it to trick Starren. Please join me. 
glad I didn't have to reload that save and that I was right and that we could just formulate a plan with the ordinators. I am never too busy. Memory or rebuilt quests seem to be quite well done for the most part. I have little interesting twists and turns that you sort of don't get in a lot of vanilla Morrowind quests. Who are you? Fancy a chat? Philem. I don't think we've been introduced, Outlander. I'm Philem. How can I help you? Uh, tell me about yourself, Philem. Philem, at your service. I'm in the guild. Ah, I see. Hello, sneak thief. Got any good rumours, colleague? At first, it seemed the fuss about the never... Uh, yes, okay. Blah, blah, blah. We've heard this before. Who's Mero Galvix? I think I saw an Imperial around town last week, asking about Flynn or something. Anyway, he didn't find what he was looking for, so he left. No idea where he is now. Who, who's looking for Mero... Mero Galvix? I don't know. I don't know. Let's look him up. Mero Galvix. Okay, someone has told us. He's my top agent. I sent him to track down a shipment of Flim that Flynn that disappeared on its way to Telmathriva. I have no idea where he is now, so try asking around in the local villages. Once you've found him, help him locate the missing shipment. Who's asking me to do this? Loris Avius. Who is Loris Avius? Don't know. It sounds dodgy. Anyway, this Flynn shipment. It's either... It, I mean, it could be just like a quest for the East Empire Company. Because I think we did walk into a building for that recently. But it also could be a Thieves Guild quest, perhaps. I wish that that was noted here in the journal. Um, but the UASP is telling me that he is a member of the East Empire Company. Nice. Okay, so this isn't any funny business. This is le legitimate, legitimate trade. All right. Well, if I find him, I'll help him. Perhaps. If I can get my hands on some of that Flynn, you know, that would definitely feel like adequate compensation. Okay, so the, sh the shipment was on its way here. So, ask around in the local villages. How are you? Yeah, and Philem just told me that he was in town here, but he had left. But the shipment went missing on the way here. Odd. Anyway, if we visit any of the little outlying towns, I reckon asking around there would. Actually, can you tell me much about the region? I'm a foreigner, I don't know much about the town. Okay, um... Local area? There isn't much to visit in this area. You can climb Boethia's spine, but that's dangerous. Yes, especially for a tiny, tiny little man like you, Philem. Hey. Okay. Oh, we're being ridiculous. It's time for bed. I'm Gadav Sethan, owner of the Glass Goblet. Do you need a bed, some booze, or some food? If you would like to hear the latest rumours or a little morrow in lore, ask me. Alright, give me the rumours. Lord Amothran doesn't like the temple. He says that they are a bunch of weaklings and some other things I dare not repeat. Oh, scandalous. 
Although, it was rather obvious walking into town that a Mothrin doesn't like the temple with those ordinators stuck out there. I'm sure you've seen them, Gadov. Alright, a bit of Morrowind law then, shall we? The northeastern part of Morrowind is inhabited by the Telvat. Really? Well, how about a bed then? Ten gold. Yes, please. You can find your bed in the blue room. To enter the blue room, you must go downstairs and take the first door you see. Thank you. Ooh, I think we could use that. We have a quest from the Mages Guild to get a few different kinds of this. And I'm tempted to buy up a bit of ingredients while I'm, you know, low on alchemy supplies. I think, actually, we'll tell you how nice your ugly shirt is a few times before. Oh, he's not buying it. He knows that we're not being genuine. Ah, oh, that's pretty good, though. I'll take that. Um, no, we'll leave that one. I'll take that. I'll take that. This one. And that one. Thank you. A little bit less, please. Yeah. About that. And we'll grab a grief. This one. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one we want. Either that or some Sujama, but... Alright, thank you very much. Let's go get drunk in bed. First door. Goes down a fair way. Hi, what are, what are you doing in here? Please join me. Alamu Lethry. Anyway, if I can be I can be of assistance, Arleia, just tell me what you want to know. Oh, uh, just tell me about yourself, Alamu. Alamu Lethry, at your service. I'm in the guild. Ah, oh, there are a few of you here, it seems. Hey. Cool. I don't think I'm going to do that at the moment, but... Dwemer Ruins in the area? Oh, I talk yes, I know the sale of Dwemer Artifacts is illegal. Uh, we'll read this, actually. You know what? Technically, the sale of Dwemer Artifacts is illegal, and that makes a lot of merchants skittish, but I've never heard of anyone getting in trouble for it. Why? The Empire is having trouble on the home front. None of the officials would look askance at a little extra coin or a few powerful ancient weapons making their way into the Imperial Legion's hands. Yeah, that's a good point. Little secret? I have heard some rumours about a Telvani library north of here. Oh, that's cool! Really? A library? North of here? That could be a cool thing to see if it's true. It's a little wilderness library. Just more rooms down here. Yes. Hello. I've heard a lot about you, Outlander. Go ahead. Oh, shucks. I've heard a lot about you, Outlander. Go ahead. What do you want? I'm a humble monk, Sarah. I pray fast, meditate, simple pleasures, simple needs. That you. Oh. Is that. Is that both of you? I think I spoke to you both times. Sodrara Asinbabia. What a name. Just a humble pilgrim, Sarah. Alright, actually, what do humble pilgrim Sodrara Asinbaba, Asinbaba, Asinbabia, what do you think of Drolothus? Some members of the temple say he's evil, and I think they are right. 
He's also a talentless battle mage. Stay away from him. You won't be able to visit him anyway. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be the most popular patron, but they can't all be Master Arians. So I think it was this one that's out. Yeah, lovely. Find space. It's just as you'd expect in any in. All right, I think maybe good nine hours of resting. That'll take us to six a.m. Maybe we'll go seven. Seems like a more reasonable time to be up. Yes, lovely. Well, our layer, it's a new day and we have a new city to explore. So I, said, yeah. I reckon we'll check out. This hey, must be. I am never too busy. The old, uh, old monastery that the place is built around, which I'm. Thinking is going to be quite substantial inside. Tower of Telmoth Reva. Hello, the Dali Tista. Welcome to the great former monastery of Telmoth Reva. Have you come to see our lord, Drolothus Omathran? Uh, sure. If you want to visit him, you need to have my permission. Oh. Can I have your permission? Look at my nice robe. I'm envious, Arleia. Well, how do I get your permission? I serve as the door warden of the Tower of Telmothriva. Tell me about Telmothriva. Telmothriva used to be a town built around a temple fortress. The monastery was old and worn, but still some priests like Lothar Stralor inhabited this old place. Lothar Strelor is still furious that he had to move from the temple, and he's even now more furious because my husband, Uradusau Tistar, will transform this place into a tower, for Lord Amothran only. That's where I had heard Lothus's name before. He used to inhabit the monastery before he was pushed out. The ordinators at the gate would have told me that. Uradusau Tistar, tell me about your husband. He's my husband. He's a nice, intellectual, and good-looking mur. He's a servant, a savant of trade, but actually more of an architect. He's designing this old monastery and improving its safety because Lord Drolothus Omothran fears an attack. That's why he That's why he's building a pod on the upper level of the tower, upper floor of the tower. Elvani construction is an interesting thing to read and learn about. But imagine he is Having my own tower under construction currently. Well, I don't think you're going to just give me an opening to yeah, see him. Cool. But looks like I can just uh, go anyway. Ah, you are the aforementioned husband, I see. I am never too busy. For a good talk. I don't believe I've seen a Breton which has, with such a grand outfit in some time. Can I help you? I, I would love to get in to see Drolothus, and I hear your wife is the one to grant permission. He is not as annoying as I thought, but he can be difficult sometimes. If he likes you, he'll show his good side. I don't know why, when I'm reading the characters' voices. I'm going a little bit British, but I think uh, I'm sure you can handle it. Tell me about yourself, Urdasu. That's me. Is there something you need? Um, what do you have to say about Telmothriva? It used to be a town built around a temple fortress. 
The monastery began to decay until our lord, a Mothran, bought the place and hired me to rebuild it into a tower worthy of himself. My job is almost finished. Cool. Well, good on ya. Any interesting books? Okay, the enemy. Smooth. Well, now that's got me curious. Oh, hello there. Nothing to see here. I'll uh, be moving on now. <laughs> oh, look, there's like... Yeah, it is under construction, isn't it? No. Okay, i got to wait for you to bugger off a little bit more. Ah. Yeah, okay, I'm not getting in there either. Well, it seems I can't really go far in this big grand central building. All right, I've got plenty more. Not the probie wobie, not this time. Okay. Nice. Boots. Best. Nothing good in it. It's a bed in here is the same. Crappy mole crab armor. Oh! Fancy robes. Yes, please. Definitely hidden, yes. Doesn't hurt to be sure. Yeah, and some crappy booze. Lovely! Let's try on a new robe. Don't need to keep flaunting our Talvani servitor robe. I oh, don't love that. It's maybe a bit better. All right. The green one's nicer. No, there's something about it that's not very flattering. However, is that other? Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. Wish you could take the hood off. But that's okay, if we need to be sneaky at any point. Uh, I just wasn't changing in the corridor here. I've been wearing this the whole time. Yes? It's too embarrassed to say anything. Please, go ahead, Outlander. I'm listening. So there's definitely no way to... What if I make you like me a lot? Alright, that's okay. Perhaps we will find a reason exploring the rest of the town. So there were just some houses around here, weren't there? Yeah. Uh, perhaps we'll pop in and talk to some of the townsfolk. Nonetheless. Um, well, we're not going in there. Too early for the houses to be unlocked? Or are those ones just always going to be locked? I mean, it's, it's 
not yet nine in the morning. I'm not sure what time the residential places would would unlock, even if they it, do they even do that in this game, or is it just like if it's locked, it's locked. Yeah, bottles, nothing, crap, Ryan. Ooh, books. Oh, nice. We'll take that one. Yes. Excellent. Beagle Basics. Blue Book of Riddles. Here and are presented all manner of riddles as collected by the scholars of Saint Realms to the greater glory of the Tribunal Alm Civi. Yep, nothing more pious than riddles. The posing and puzzling of riddles is a convention of polite aristocratic Western society. Nobles and other aspirants collect books of riddles and study them, hoping thereby to increase the chances of their appearing sly and witty in conversation. <laughs> Nice. Regret. Poem. Perhaps we'll read later. Yep, I'll take that. Pipe? We got a pipe at home? Not sure. We will have one now, in any case. Alea is not above pinching things that are not hers. Ooh, nice. You left that just sitting in a sack. Oh. Oh. I mean, all the books are a bit... heavy. can we get rid of here that we've got a bunch of? Only weighs 10 though. Oh, I always find this difficult. Ah, oh, we were supposed to drink that. There we go. Ever end do? Uh, what's what's up? You don't care I'm in here. Tell me about Drolothus. Seems like a dick. He's the patron of our town. We see him rarely, but we have heard that he has a difficult personality. So I've heard. He doesn't sound worth the worth the effort. Maybe. Good, good view of pile of rocks. <laughs> you may speak. Outlander, what do you want? Drelessa Halamon. Hello, how are you? Excuse me, stranger, can you do a little favour for me? I'm not feeling 
too well. I'm too tired to move. I almost can't walk anywhere. Too tired? Seems age has caught up with me. I cannot walk any further. My legs are so tired. Please, could you bring me a potion of restore endurance? The standard kind should do. Yes, I can. I think I can do that. Oh, thank you very much. I would suggest you speak to Lothus Relor. He may have the right potion. Lovely. I'd no worries. I'd imagine that the standard ty type will only do. Honestly, yes. I thought right. Let's go see the priest. grant you humility. Thank you, Lothus. Um, I've got a favor to ask you. Um, I can't find ah Relessa Hlamen is too tired to move well if a potion is all you need I happen to have a standard restore endurance potion right here it will cost you 30 drakes done here you go cheers mate who are you I've heard a lot about you outlander Aralotheralas. I haven't heard of you. I don't know you. you sh <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> what do you want? Um, got any cool rumours? Lord Amothran doesn't like the temple. He says they are a bunch of weaklings and some other things I dare not repeat. Nobody really has anything nice to say about him except the architect he's employing. <laughs> What is this about? Uh, well, if you're going to be like that, I may not bother. But I've actually got something to help you, you silly old bat. Yes, here it is. Wonderful, I'm afraid there's nothing I can give you as payment right now, but come visit me later at my house. I'll have something for you there. All right, no worries. Galassa, is your house around here? Yeah, it's just there. All right, we will come visit you later. So I think I can conclude that either just the area of the map where uh, Tamriel rebuilt is, is more stable than Varden fell. Or I have fixed some compatibility problems or um, stability problems, sorry. Because in the last hour and 20 now of recording again, I've had one crash as opposed to five. I'm guessing it was five before. It was a lot anyway. So I'm actually pretty stoked with that improvement. And considering it has been an hour and 20 minutes since I've been or of recording, might be a good place to leave it because I'm going to have two videos now to stick together to make this one. I wanted to make my next upload a bit longer than the last two since the series has been so intermittent. But yeah, I think that yeah, it might have a bit of a run of interest in it again, now that I've picked it up today. With the solstice just having passed last night slash yesterday, winter is now on the turn, finally, which I've been hanging out for. It's been so cold and it's been getting dark at 
before six in the evening. Any of you are watching from the Northern Hemisphere right now, please send me some warmth and sunlight. I hear you have too much of it. <laughs> Grass is always greener, right? Uh, winters in Australia can be, whoops, absolutely freezing. So the other night it was minus 10, which to be fair was record breaking in my area. Um, and it's quarter to six and it's currently six degrees outside. So I'm quite happy to be staying inside and plan my game today. It's been lovely to touch back with my story. So what did we do today? Arleia got the, the Warlock's Ring. Which, what does that do again? It was a bit different. Oh yeah, Reflect and Speed. Yeah. So I like that we went with Agility in our level up. And then we got this ring. Like, yeah. Quick little witchy poo. Darting about the place, reflecting shit. Yeah, reflect all the bad vibes, Arleia. Reflect them. But anyway, yeah, we did that. And then I think we just kind of dealt with a bunch of crashes and made our way here. It's been nice to get back into some Tamriel rebuilt content. I did want it. In, yeah, she she does like exploring and we've been to the mainland a good few times, so yeah, I did want to visit it pretty early on in the Let's Play because I feel like it's content that not everybody has seen. Even hardcore Morrowind fans like myself who have been playing for years and years and years yeah, I haven't seen most of what there is to offer in Tamriel Rebuilt. I mean, unless you've already picked it up and played a lot of it, but um, this is this playthrough is my first time playing Tamriel Rebuilt, so I've never explored it previously. So it's wonderful to be able to do that and to record the journey, share our layers explorations. Beautiful mainland Morrowind. So yeah, thank you as always for joining and for watching and for being patient in particular this episode if you have made it to the end. Uh, I did I did say early on there were gonna be some hiccups along the way and some creases to smooth as we you know as we progress through this. But I have, uh, I have high hopes. And even if we keep getting some crashes to desk, desk, desktop periodically, I think that just my good quick saving habits should, you know, mostly take care of that. I can start to edit out more of them if they remain too consistent. But again, I have hope. It was much smoother coming back to it after implementing some of those changes. So, yeah, I'm stoked about that. I did have a reasonably stable game set up, but right before I started the Let's Play, I chucked in a bunch of extra shit, which I really didn't need to do, but I like to dance close to the fire. <laughs> anyway, with that, I am Sapphire. Thank you for joining Alaya and I. Until next time, adventurers. <laughs>